So one of the biggest downsides to working nights is that everything takes longer during the daytime when you're driving. Look at this. My normal commute takes about 15 minutes in the mornings. It's been almost 10 minutes and I still haven't even gotten out of my neighborhood yet. All right, it is about 4.30 in the morning right now. I'm coming up on the last hour and a half or so of my shift on nights. I've been working the night shift now for about almost six weeks, so I'm totally flipped into this new schedule. I'm not at all sleepy right now. Even if I wanted to sleep, I probably wouldn't even physically be able to. So I'm using this extra downtime that I have to get caught up on some blood work that's starting to come in for a few of my patients and get caught up in some work. One of the most common requests that I've been getting on this channel has been to show you more of what we do in surgery. And even though I would love to strap a GoPro to myself or bring video cameras with me, that's not something that I can do yet. But instead, I thought that what I might start doing is teaching you guys a little bit about some of the common problems that surgeons see and how we deal with them. One of the problems that we see in surgery is something that's called a perforated ulcer. And when patients come in with this problem, this is considered an emergency and we have to go straight to the operating room to fix it. Now, some of the symptoms that patients complain of when they have this are usually abdominal pain. And often they'll be able to tell us exactly when that pain started, either with a sudden pop that they felt or just being able to tell that the pain had started all of a sudden. Sometimes patients will actually complain of feeling pain on the tops of their shoulders also. And that's because the nerves that go to your diaphragm also are sharing the same common nerve root with some of the nerves that go to your shoulders. When we suspect that someone has an ulcer, one of the things that we do is often get an upright chest x-ray or sometimes we'll go straight to the CAT scanner. And that's because we're looking for evidence of something called free air. Free air means air that's inside your abdomen but not contained within the stomach or within the bowel itself. It means that there's a perforation with air leaking out. When we find this, we go to the operating room to fix the ulcer and fix the perforation. And we do something crazy that's called making a gram patch. We actually take a piece of fat that's overlying the colon and we use this to sew on top of the ulcer. And you'll see some of this in this drawing that I have here right now. This is a quick sketch of the stomach. I'm kind of shading it in. You can see the blood vessels. So we got our stomach here, it's kind of shaded up. And now I drew in a quick perforated ulcer. That's this ugly black thing. And then what I'm showing is that when we make our entry into the abdomen, we put a couple stitches across that ulcer and we leave them untied. And then we get a chunk of fat while it's still connected to its blood supply, we bring it up, we lay it over that ulcer, it's like you see here, and then we tie those sutures over that chunk of fat. All right, well that's it for today. Let me know in the comment section below if you wanna see more videos like this one. I'll see you guys next time. Yup. Yeah.